Hi, I'm Lindsay Berry, founder of YYC Fempreneurs and fempreneurmarketing.com. Today we're going to talk about MailChimp. This is one of a series of videos about MailChimp, my nerdy brain teaching you all of my favorite features of MailChimp. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new to MailChimp or if you want to get really nerdy with it like I do, because it is the ticket for taking people that we meet on social media that find out about us on social media and want to keep in touch with us, who want to continue the conversation with us and pulling them into a list where we can actually send valuable information, tools, strategies, courses, invites to events, all of that right to their email inbox and we don't have to worry about whether or not the Facebook algorithm is on our side that day. So what you're going to want to do with your list at some point, whether it's at 10 people or 100 people, is you're going to want to start to send um, emails to a specific segment of your list. So for example, lately I've been doing a lot more online events because of what's happening right now with COVID. So I've been creating these online events and talking about them on social media and then putting a link to sign up for that specific event. Now that link is what's called a MailChimp landing page. I've got the link only on my website. So I'm driving the traffic to my website where they click the link to sign up for the event. Once they get to that landing page, they fill in their information then they click submit and what they're also doing is signing up for um, my email list which is of course not called a list anymore in MailChimp lingo they have changed it to the word audience so when I say list just know that I mean audience it's the same thing so once you have your list uh, your audience you want to segment them sometimes so for example I'm building a segment of people who have signed up for an event happening on April 30th I'm going to want to send them some communication that isn't going to go out to the entire list or the entire audience, but I don't want to have to go in and hand pick all of those people. So what I'm going to show you right now is going to help you streamline your system of holding online events, keeping in touch with the people that want to hear from you, want to learn more from you and doing it in a really streamlined way. So enjoy. Okay. So once you're logged in, click campaigns. And then your landing page is already selected, but quite often for me anyways, it defaults to emails and then I have to click down here on landing pages. And how we create segments from these two, um, two landing pages is we go back into your audience and we click this number here, the number of people that are on your list. So we're gonna click the 367. So now what we do is we click on manage contacts. We go to segments. So yeah, so the now when you're here, you instead of date added, what we're going to do is click the down arrow. We're going to go to landing page activity, signed up on, or sorry, yeah, and we'll keep that there. And then April 15th is not the one we want, right? We already have a segment created for that. We only have two landing pages as well. So now we know we want this one. Yeah. And then we preview the segment. We can still save this segment, even though no one's in it yet, so that it'll start to build. So we're yeah. going to click save segment. And just to review, to get to your segments, you click audience, you get to this page where you see your audience number, you click that number. And then you get here, you click manage contacts, and you click segments to find your segments. Okay. Here is the reason why I love, love, love segments. So now what I'm going to do is send an email to a specific segment, which is a group of people who are signed up for a specific event that being my Fab Five event coming up here um, at the end of the month. So what I'm gonna do is click on campaigns. And then I'm going to replicate a past email that I've used. So first I'm gonna make sure it's not on landing pages. See, it's defaulting to landing pages. I'm gonna click on emails because I'm gonna create an email. We're gonna replicate a past email by clicking this arrow on the far right and clicking replicate. Now, we don't want to send it to the entire email list. We want to click this Edit Recipients button, and we don't want to send it to all subscribers in the audience. So we're going to click the down arrow, and as you can see, we've got a segment called Fab Five, and that is the segment that is currently building 
as people sign up for the next Fab Five event. So that's what we click. And then we click save. And we continue to build an email just as we normally would. Yeah, I hope that's helpful. If you need any more tips and tricks on MailChimp and building your email list using social media, of course, as a way to attract more of your ideal clients and build your email list, stay tuned here on my YouTube channel. Find me on Instagram and Facebook at YYC Fempreneurs. Hope you have a great day.